One of the benefits to using mood mapping inside both version 4 and version 5 of Sonic Fire Pro is that you can change the instrumentation during playback. But that actual changing of instrumentation brings up its own set of questions. For instance, listen to the beginning of this clip. Hit the return key to rewind the playhead. Spacebar to play. Let's get it all started. By Did you hear that fade where we went from one set of instrumentation, specifically full, to another dialogue? Well, that fade is represented by this triangle right here, and by default, it's two seconds long. This is not the kind of music that needs a two-second fade to anything. It needs to happen much faster. So how do we change it? Well, if you select the segment that has the, the transition in it, again, it's that triangle, go over to the Properties tab. Notice this slider under Transition Time. Let's grab this slider and drag it down to, say, oh, 20 frames. And now listen to the transition. Let's get it all started by checking out... Do you hear how much quicker it is? In fact, if we grab the transition and drag it all the way down to zero, then we end up with something which is instantaneous. Listen again. Let's get it all started by checking out the trials. That's pretty brisk. I think that's, I would like to do a little bit of a fade, probably around 12 frames. Well, in addition to moving the slider, we can also double click on the transition time, which opens up a dialog box. Type in the duration you want, press the enter key, and that quickly you've added that duration to your transition. And it sounds like this. Let's get it all started by checking out the trials. And now, with that just that little bit of a really quick fade, it blends it so nicely that you don't even know the audio transition has occurred because you're already listening to what the talent has to say. This ability to change the transition duration makes mood mapping especially powerful. My name is Larry Jordan, and thanks for watching this Sonic Fire Pro tip.